Here we have from Lesson 8-3, Mortgage Applications Process. This is the monthly payment uh, formula, and we need to understand this. So if you turn to page 402 and follow along on this, in example one, Heather is planning to buy a home. She has some money for a down payment already, and she sees a home she would like and com computes that she would need to borrow $190,000 from a bank over a 30-year period. The APR, the uh, annual percentage rate, is 6.4%. What will be her total interest for the 30 years? So I'm going to go ahead and do this example in its entirety for you. And I'm also going to pull up for you the uh, calculator so that you can see exactly how this is all going to work with the calculator involved. But let's start off with just getting some numbers here. Heather wants to buy this home and she knows that she needs to borrow $190,000. That is our principal. That's what P is going to be. $190,000, that's how much is being borrowed. The 30-year period is T, so T is going to be 30 years. That's that T that you see in this formula. And then the APR is 6.4%. Um, that means then that that's our rate. The rate is equal to 0.064 because you know how to convert an expression of percent into a decimal. Those are all the pieces that we need. Now it becomes the challenge to enter this into the calculator. So let's go over there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up how I'm going to punch this into the calculator. So we're talking about calculating what M is and it's going to be exactly like this. I'm going to be very deliberate about some things like putting parentheses around the 190,000 and then deliberately saying times. And I have to do 0 0.064 divided by 12. And that's that R over 12. And then times, open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.064 over 12. And then raised to parentheses, 12 times 30 years. We're going to say divides, so I'll just go ahead and represent that with the bar, but recognize that we have to punch in uh, this piece right here. We have to punch in this piece right here down in the bottom. From that we subtract 1, and that's part of the formula right there. But in order to keep the bottom of the fraction where the bottom of the fraction should be in the calculator, you should introduce a set of parentheses right here. So as we're entering it in, you're going to start the denominator with a parentheses, parentheses. Okay, so now let's uh, take a look at what we're, how we're going to enter that into the calculator. So this is how this is going to be entered into the calculator and the buttons that go with it. We'll go ahead and clear this screen. And um, the beauty of this is that we are looking at the example in the book, and the example has already figured this all out for us, and so our target for this entry right now to find what M is, is to get to $1,188.46. This is to teach you how to use the calculator to get to that. So here we go. We're going to start off by entering in this uh, $190,000, but we're going to enter it in in parentheses, $190,000 and close parentheses, and then there's the times, and there's an open parentheses, and now we're going to do a division inside the parentheses here of 0 0.064 divided by 12. So that represents that fraction inside the parentheses next to the 190,000. And we're going to do that, and we're going to multiply that by that compounding interest expression, which is 1 plus, and we're entering that in again, so it's going to be 0 0.064 divides by 12, close parentheses. This guy right here is the, I call it the to the button, but it's basically, you know, making it an exponent. It also looks like Y raised to the X on some other calculators. I just want to let you know that. So I'm going to hit that button. So notice my cursor is now raised up like an exponent. So in that cursor, we're going to be real deliberate. We're going to go parentheses 12 times 30, because the 30 is the T and that closes the parentheses. Now, we're still up high. We need to get down low, so that's going to take hitting a right arrow and getting down into the bottom there. So now, that's the whole top. 
and we're going to um, do a divides, so I'm going to say divides, we're working on the denominator. In order to keep the entire denominator together, I need to hit open parentheses, and then I'm going to open parentheses for the inner parentheses, which is going to contain 1 plus 0 0.064 divides 12, close parentheses, and then raise that to parentheses 12 times 30, close parentheses. We're still up in the, in the uh, exponent, so we need to get down from the exponent and say minus 1. And when I close parentheses, I want to emphasize the idea that I kept that minus 1 in the denominator. If you didn't put those parentheses in, that minus 1 would sneak out from the, the fraction, and you would do all that fractional work without the minus 1, and then you would be subtracting 1 from it, and you'd, get, you'd totally screw it up. So um, don't mess up like that, okay? So now I think we're ready, and we can hit Enter. And sure enough, we have that number that came from inside the book, approximately, and it's $1,188.46. What you should be doing is exactly what you saw me do here, and practice putting it into the calculator and getting this answer every single time. And if you do that, then you're going to start understanding how to drive a calculator and get the desired results. So go ahead and practice it. I would do it three or four times uh, so that you get what you're doing right and you'll also get what you're doing wrong. Go ahead and start practicing and uh, hopefully that will be helpful for you later in the class.